Hello guys, uh, welcome to SEO Siren. I'm Satish from uh, you know SEO Siren, and I'll be taking care of uh, your all SEO uh, queries, requirements, and you know doubts and clear it off whenever possible on a weekend. So a lot of people have been mailing me and messaging me and calling me and uh, and and uh, and like you know asking me how to get the AdSense approved once it's rejected or or if they have a new website, how do they approach the Google AdSense? So <clears throat> this is a this is quite challenging uh, task to do. But the first and foremost thing you have to remember that before applying the Google AdSense, you take the basic uh, requirements of your website, which will make them to give the standard approval without any hesitations. So usually this Google AdSense is approved by people uh, manually. I mean the Google team. I mean I mean the Google AdSense team, or or they like you know the department. They uh, they manually check their websites and uh, you know, give the approval. So there are like you know 10 to 15 things which usually they keep uh, as a checklist and uh, keep on visiting every site they get the request from. So if you make sure that you follow this checklist and uh, keep up to their expectations, there is no doubt you know that your AdSense will be approved. So the first and foremost thing you need to remember that uh, anything which is easy to get approved or anything which is like you know um, will give you an instant solution to get quick money or like you know quick solution will not stand longer. So you need to work hard for it and get it right. So uh, I'll show you uh, the step by step procedure on how to make sure that Google approves your AdSense. But uh, before that. Uh, just go to Google and type AdSense approval and uh, you'll find my link there or else I'll put this article in the description also like how and what are the necessary steps you to be taken care like you know um, before applying to Google so uh, the first thing you need to keep in your mind is to have a clean neat and uh, very good design which will help the AdSense approval team to judge in the first look only that okay this guy is professional okay maybe like you know okay this lady is like you know really maintaining her blog nice so let me go through the other steps to uh, check uh, before I re even reject it in the first go so a lot of blogspot uh, websites up uh, apply for AdSense which usually doesn't make sense because you know they'll put a lot of sidebars and like a lot of advertisements and the post will be copied and the design will be cluttered so you know these kind of things will leave a very bad impression on the uh, manual approval team and they might quickly reject your you know, AdSense approval so uh, I'll give you a detailed uh, step by step procedure on how to do this and maybe uh, if you note all these things the chances of getting your AdSense approval is like you know more than like more than 80 percentage so as I said the first one is a clean design so just go to Google and type like you know free WordPress templates or free uh, you know any free templates or if you if you think that you know you don't have the budget to host a free site uh, on uh, I mean on on any server uh, then try to ask any of your friends or try to ask any of your well-wishers to give a small hosting space in their server and uh, we'll give the I mean uh, I mean so that you can get the opportunity to apply AdSense. So if you are planning to get an AdSense approval on a block spot or on a cluttered design or on something which is not uh, a hundred percentage you know committed site, then don't apply for AdSense because these guys are pretty serious about the job and they wanted to make sure that their advertisers get the best experience of the sites the way they are showing the ads on. So the first thing, uh, try to get a server and try to get a neat and clean uh, you know design and then apply for the absence so the next thing what i'll say is so like you know, once you have good design the next thing you need to always focus uh, you know focus is uh, the to uh, i mean the number of articles you have in your site uh, i'll just write it down here for you website design is the first thing and the second thing is like you know uh, minimum number of articles or posts so make sure like you know uh, to you have at least uh, you know 30 to 40 quality articles and out of them at least 4 to 5 articles are really you know lengthy and uh, really make a lot of value to the customers and a lot of value to the users who check your articles. So this is the number 2 concern which I have and which actually works for a lot of people. So 
and uh, coming to the third thing you need to make sure that you know your articles are never copied uh, no copied content no copied content at all so don't try to copy just uh, you know in a hurry just copy paste the articles of someone else's site and you know someone else's content in your blog it, it actually doesn't make sense so try to write neat and clean article even if you're writing about uh, a small article or a funny article or anything which is like you know non-controversial or uh, or maybe which is an interesting topic that will actually will benefit your adsense to get approved instantly in fact and uh, you know the fourth one uh, is is like you know you have to limit yourself to only particular niches when applying to adsense so like you know i see a lot of people apply on uh, on like you know filmy uh, things like you know i mean a lot of filmy things uh, like say for example uh, uh, say any review of a site or like in that too, you know most of them reviews will be copied or it will be the same kind of no new content in fact in that so a lot of people apply adsense on uh, you know um, casinos or like you know gambling or uh, like you know some uh, you know porn content and uh, even niche bloggings or like uh, say for example you know happy new year 2015 wallpapers.com those sites will never get you adsense approval so to make sure that Google gives you enough preference, <coughs> you have to maintain a quality niche. Like uh, you'll get instant approval on sites like health uh, and business, uh, like entrepreneurship and uh, law content, or like you know, on uh, uh, on latest technology, gadgets, and you know social media like that. So uh, <coughs> I have also mentioned a couple of more niches in my article itself. You can check out that as well. So, and coming to the uh, fourth, uh, I mean the fifth one. So, uh, I would I would like to say the fourth one is uh, good niche sites, good niches, uh, good niches like you know health, entity, uh, not entity, health, uh, maybe law or tech and etc etc. And uh, another important part which a lot of people miss while applying Google Adsense is they put some advertisements already on the site which are not AdSense approved or else which are not, uh, you know, from Google or which are not from very trusted source. So, you know, don't uh, put any other ads. So, you know, you usually find out like, you know, people instantly put affiliate banners or they put uh, info links or they put Chitika or they put Yahoo ads. Don't do that. So, because you know, uh, Google will, you know, I mean, the Google uh, AdSense uh, team. Uh, will actually think that okay these guys are here to make only money and not the good user experience and not good content for the people so maybe they can approve it now but later what is the guarantee that you will be a good customer to google adsense so that's the point so don't put any other ads until you get approved so once you get approved you can go to any other channel or like you know any other third party ad service and put their ads doesn't matter okay make sure that you don't do this and uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a little cold and fever. Uh, so, like you know, the next thing you have to make sure is a good user experience. So, uh, like you know, uh, a lot of people miss this fact that you know their site their site should be neat, clean, and uh, and, and like you know give amazing uh, navigation to the customers or to your users who come to your site and search for content. So make sure you make sure that you know so your site have your site doesn't have uh, you know a lot of bad widgets on your uh, on your sidebar or on, on your home page some people uh, put a I'm, I'm gonna put like a lot of widgets like uh, um, tra live traffic feed or else like you know recently visitor or like you know globes earths and etc etc don't do that and uh, user experience i mean even the loading speed so sometimes the loading speed of the site may uh, you know piss off these uh, adsense publisher guys also so try to put your adsense uh, try to put uh, put your websites under three seconds uh, try to put your website loading speed under three seconds uh, i'll say three to five seconds yeah three, three to three to five seconds only so that uh, you know these guys can quickly open your site and give the approval or like you know, to take a look at it and uh, and think and come to a conclusion that okay these guys are doing good 
So the next thing you need to understand is you have to install the basic things in your site, like in you know, a Google Analytics and Google Webmaster Tools, Google Webmaster Tools, and uh, and I would also say um, Bing Webmaster Tools and uh, Bing Webmaster Tools, etc., etc., etc. Okay these kind of I mean these three are mostly enough and uh, which will give them a trust and you know instant uh, feeling that okay these guys are serious about the site uh, you know uh, SEO or, or, or they want people to see their site visible in search engines and all so the next thing you have to install is the basic XML sitemaps you know sitemaps and uh, some good plugins etc etc uh, but I wouldn't say you know don't put too many plugins if you're on a WordPress on a WordPress site or or like you know this will this will increase your loading speed again. So put an excellent simple XML sitemap and some good uh, you know plugins, uh, good plugins in the sense like you know you can use uh, Yoast or like you know you can use Yoast plugin or CBNet or like you know CBNet is something like you know this will ping your site whenever an article is uh, published I'll put the link in the description too so that uh, you know it will be easy for you to apply or else install okay these are minimum things and the next thing <coughs> Google also see is uh, um, in fact you know this comes mostly under SEO part so also put one robots file um, so that you make sure that you don't index junk in the search engines like you know a lot of people get a lot of junk in the site like you know if I type SEO site and you might not find any junk in the first page so all the you know pages here are trustworthy so say if I put any other site uh, say uh, I don't know many sites about which, which doesn't have the basic requirement of this robot but uh, Mm, let's cite something like this wallpapers uh, 2015 maybe we'll see some niche site or spam site here yeah, we'll check this happy new year 2015 wallpaper okay okay this guy is following okay the basic SEO that's why he's in, he's in top so no problem so make sure that you know it doesn't index a lot of clutter here and like a lot of spammy pages so robots here is very very important so since this is on blogger uh, most of the robots will be taken care you know in the back end itself so you just need to optimize it here and there so you know make sure that you put uh, you know <coughs> good robots file and the other thing google also looks at is this is a myth actually but not really sure if this is considered as a rank um, as a approval factor it's called the Alexa ranking. So when you have to make sure that you know your Alexa rank is below uh, 400,000 global ranking. So um, that is also if, uh, you know a considerable uh, factor to get your answers approved. So uh, I would like to write that here. So I would like to write Alexa rank next. Okay. And apart from these things, you have to make sure that you put some very important pages on, uh, you know, the Google, uh, I mean, very important pages on your website so that Google will approve your, or else, you know, consider your approval for the next level. So these important pages include, uh, like, in a privacy policy, disclaimer policy, terms of use, contact us, about us, and all this stuff. So make sure that you know your about us page has the same name and address of uh, of like you know the person who, who I mean who is applying. So if for example I'll apply the absence with name Satish Kumar, I should also mention the name in the about us section that I'm Satish Kumar. I'm the founder of SEOSIR and blah 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 and all that stuff. So and uh, the next thing you have to put is like you know um, I, I didn't mention about the hosting and all the stuff. So maybe you can try the good hosting or else you can uh, also type the custom domain and custom domain you can uh, since you will get the custom domain uh, uh, I mean the custom domain email address so once you set up your hosting and all that stuff you can get your custom uh, email ID custom email ID will be something like you know uh, satish at seosiren.com or uh, name.domain.com like that okay this is also another factor of getting your adsense approval and 
uh, one of the other thing which a lot of people miss is the uh, you know the basic uh, concept of getting traffic to your site so don't apply to Google and Adsense until you have around 30 to 40 visitors per day uh, per day I would say this is a considerable amount of uh, you know visitors are a good decent you know uh, to get Adsense approved because uh, they should know that okay this guy is serious about this Adsense so these are some of the important things and uh, one of the other simple thing you need to know is if you have enough budget or if you have enough uh, you know uh, say time you can also customize your uh, article with a custom banner images see for example i'm um, uh, i'm i'm writing this article which says like you know uh, three easiest way to pull websites keywords and ranking positions etc so i'm putting a small banner ad of my article uh, which uh, which gives a symbolized uh, I mean which gives a feeling that okay this article is mostly about keywords uh, you can see one girl hugging the keywords or uh, I'm writing the title in the, in the image here you can use share as image or uh, these kind of simple tools to put this like you know you can use share as image which is a really good tool you need not know Photoshop you need not know any advanced tools to use this just use share as image and it will be done so these kind of uh, things will also make uh, Google understand that you are serious. <clears throat> One thing you have to keep in your mind that you know um, Google so Google should think that you are serious about your AdSense approval. That's the number one thing you need to keep in your mind. So unless they don't feel that you are serious with your AdSense, they gonna never approve your AdSense account. So with this, uh, I would like to conclude that you know AdSense can be easily uh, achieved if you follow these metrics. So I wish you good luck and uh, keep posting me the comments and uh, you know any queries if you have so that I, I, I mean I got already more than 1000 comments on uh, you know the Google Plus boxes and you know the comments and a lot of people mail me and uh, I hope I answer every one of them uh, if they are not repeated questions and uh, check the links in the description. See you soon. Bye bye. All the best.